Hello, in this video I want to show how we can achieve functional safety using the code blocks IDE. Now this is the code blocks IDE and I'm going to open a project that I've cre previously created. This is a fairly simple project and as we can see I have a main that's calling a number of functions and let's go and execute build this and execute it. So let's do a rebuild okay looks like that's used the GCC compiler to build it and now I'm going to set a breakpoint here and let's go and, and debug this so this should now start the debugger using GDB in this particular case and we should now be able to step through this code and debug it now let's stop the execution right what I'm interested in doing is being able to first of all analyze this code and find out well is it compliant to a coding standard such as Misera and then I'd like to be able to measure a number of metrics on the code maybe looking at some of these functions and measuring the cyclomatic complexity I'd like to then execute the code and as it executes I'd like to be able to find out well how much of this code have we actually exercised and if we haven't got 100% then I can always use the unit testing tool TV run in order to be able to get a 100% statement branch and MCDC. Right now starting point is I want to be able to uh, build the code so let's go and perform the build from a batch file and here we can see that I'm going to call the code blocks IDE so I need to close down code blocks first and now let's perform the build and here we can see again this time we're calling code blocks we've successfully built so I now want to do exactly the same but this time with the build import so here I'm going to call the same build.bat let's run this and we should be able to see that it invokes code blocks.exe so it's doing the build now we're going to analyze the results and we can see if we have an executable we also have a number of source files and it's found a or an include path as well as a couple of processor symbols so now I have everything we need in place in order to be able to open this in TV vision and start analyzing the project well to save time I've already done that and here we can see I've analyzed the project and we can start by maybe doing a code review so here we can see we have a number of violations and if I was to double click on a particular violation it opens the source code and highlights where I've got a violation and basically I shouldn't start with an underscore so that's very easy to to fix right so at the same time let's take a look at the quality of the code well we'll open a system core graph because that's going to show us all the functions in our system we can see how they're interconnected and we can see whether the functions that are ones that I've written or whether they're system calls now we can look at various metrics here let's start by looking at maybe the maintainability and there the most interesting metric is the cyclomatic complexity and I can sort and rapidly find the most complex function that's this one integer to ASCII well let's take a look at the flow graph okay so that's giving us a graphical representation of the code if I was to click on a block of code over here we can see the corresponding block on our flow graph if I was to click on a block on the flow graph again we can see the corresponding block inside the code we can also look, click on the various branches and we can see this is a branch from this block to that block now what I'd like to be able to do is to execute this code and as it executes I'd like to be able to find out well how much of this code have we actually exercised so we're going to first of all instrument the source code to put probes at the start and the end of each block and then we're going to execute this code so to do that I'm going to simply press this button here this is now going to generate the instrument of program now it's going to perform the build so once again it's using the code blocks ID to do the build it's now executed executed the code and we've captured the, the results into a file we've analyzed those results and so now we can see well, okay what coverage did we obtain and so now I've gone to my uh, core graph I can now put this into the coverage mode and we can see we have full coverage for everything 
accept this function integer to ASCII. So let's take a, a look once again, this time at the flow graph. And this is now showing us in green the paths we've taken through the code and in red the paths we haven't executed. So why haven't we de-executed this particular block? Well, it looks like we've never executed this function with a value that was less than 180. So using unit testing, that will be very easy to execute a test with a value less than 180 and then check it executes the rest of the code. So let's do that. So I'm going to invoke tbrun, which is the unit testing tool. And I'm going to load a sequence that I've previously created. So here I've got a, a number of test cases. Let's load one up and I'm now going to be able to execute this. So first of all, it's generated a harness. It's built it. It's executed it. And as we can see, most importantly, the tests have passed. So that means with these inputs that we provided over here, we've got the expected outputs. So lots of different test cases with different values. And now we should be able to take a look at the coverage for this integer to ASCII function. And we can see we now have 100% statement coverage, 100% branch decision coverage, and 100% MCDC. OK, so hopefully that's given you an idea of how we can work with the code blocks IDE. And if you'd like more information, then please don't hesitate to contact us at LDRA. Thank you.